Hey guys, it's Angel Marie here and welcome to another video. Today is actually Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving, which I'm probably going to upload this video either tomorrow or Saturday, depending on the day. But I hope y'all Thanksgiving went well. Today's video, we are going to be doing a get ready with me Thanksgiving for Thanksgiving. Not only that, we are going to check out this Morphe palette called Tease the Season. This is their limited edition palette that I have been seeing at Ulta quite a few times. So I decided to grab it. And I just want to test this out to see how this palette go. I'm excited. So let's get started. The packaging is very pretty. Like it does give, it gives me like, it looks like gift wrapping paper. That's what it reminds me of. And it's very pretty. So I definitely like the packaging because it does give me a little bit of Christmas vibes. And then this what it looks like outside the box, the same packaging really pretty let's go ahead and open this palette and see what we got here and okay we got some type of paper here i guess to teach us how to do a, oh okay giving us some some type of uh tutorial whatever of how to apply each shade okay that is very helpful we got some neutrals we got some pinks Got a gray over here, and I love this shade. This this is what's standing out the most, and this is the pink ribbon. So that is what's standing out with this palette. I honestly wish that they could have put like some traditional Christmas colors because this is a pretty palette, don't get me wrong, but it's not giving me, you know, Christmas vibes. Enough. You can use this like any time of the year really because the neutrals it's like an everyday look If you want to achieve that everyday look you can always use this palette So you don't have to use this necessarily for just the holidays, you know what I'm saying? But it's very pretty though. I really like this So I'm still trying to think of what eyeshadow look I should do for today since I'm using this for a Thanksgiving look today Let's Go ahead and get this makeup on, okay? All right, Ed, and I'm gonna try this Power Grip Primer. I heard some very good reviews on it. So my mom had an extra one, so she gave this one to me. So I'm gonna just give it a try. Cause I heard a lot of good reviews on it. So I'm like, you know what, why not, right? So very liquidy primer for sure. I'm not used to this because since I have oily skin I'm so used to the cream primers but um, yeah we're gonna see how this primer works on my face because because my mom she also have oily skin and She said it works for her, so I'm like, okay, I'll give it a shot then. I do have a, a handheld mirror right here, so I don't know why I'm not using that. <laughs> Cause I'm looking at the camera trying to do my makeup, but you know, yeah. Since it is Thanksgiving, we might as well talk about what are we thankful for? What are we grateful for, you know? Well, for me, number one, I am thankful for God. I'm thankful for his love for me, his grace and his mercy. And I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for having a place to stay, having a very nice, decent home to live in and having a roof on top of my head. I'm also thankful for having a car so I can like go places whenever I want to. I'm thankful for having a job so I can be able to make my own money. I'm thankful for my friends. I have a very few friends and they know who they are. And I'm thankful for them. Um, thank, yeah, I'm just thankful for a lot of things really. And 
I sometimes I have to like learn not to take things for granted because there's people out there that doesn't have the same things that I have and it's very like important not to complain a lot when it comes to things like that like you didn't have like the newest things or you don't have something that you want but you gotta be grateful for what you have because there's somebody out there's somebody else out there that doesn't have what you have so it's important to like step back with gratitude and just realize like, you know, I'm blessed for having the things that I have, you know what I'm saying? So I'm still learning now, like, you know, to learn how to be thankful and be grateful that I have these things. Cause I, cause honestly, things can get taken away from me in a heartbeat. So just got to be appreciative more often. And I'm also thankful for you guys, whoever subscribed to me. I appreciate you guys for watching my videos. I'm very grateful for you guys. Each and every one of you definitely make a difference. And I appreciate everybody who subscribes to me, watch my videos, interact with me. I appreciate all you guys and your support. Like it really means a lot to me. And yeah, I appreciate you guys so much. Comment down below what you guys are thankful for. I know you guys got like countless, uh, like a whole bunch of blessings in your life. There's always something to be grateful for. You might not have something that you've been wanting or you might be missing something in your life, but there's something to be grateful for. There's something that you are thankful to have. It could be one thing, two things, three things. It don't have to be a lot, but you have a blessing in your life somehow, somewhere. Just gotta really think back of, you gotta really like step back and really reflect on what is there that is pretty much a blessing to you. It's definitely a blessing, like having all your family together. I know there's people out there that's missing their family or their family, some of their family members are not with them anymore. Like I understand because my grandparents are no longer with me and it's kind of like the holidays are not the same like they used to be without them. So I definitely understand that part. Like I miss my grandparents all the time because it just brings back memories of when we because like today like thanksgiving or christmas we well yeah mostly thanksgiving we will go to their house and have dinner and socialize with the family catch up and everything play games and talk and i just miss those days you know and just nowadays it just it's not it's not the same anymore without them so, even though, yeah, I still have dinner at my house now, but yeah, I just wish I can go back in time and just spend time with my grandparents, you know? And my grandma, I call her mama, my mama, she be making like the best potato salad. Like, I love potato salad, especially hers. And my dad's potato salad is the second best. But my grandma's potato salad was always, it was so fire, like it was the bomb. Um, yeah, I definitely miss her cooking for sure because she knows how to cook. Like, that woman knew how to cook, you know what I'm saying? Like, like who don't love grandma's cooking, you know what I'm saying? Like. The gram, like our grandmas, be making the best food. I don't care. But yeah, I definitely miss her and my papa, which is my grandpa. And yeah.
of this hack where when you're trying to clean up your eyebrows so like to be a little bit more precise and less messy you can use a q-tip to clean around your eyebrows and it will give you that very clean sharp effect that is why i love doing this so much because i can definitely see that sharp effect like it's so sharp that it can cut you girl <laughs> but yeah because like I usually sometimes I use liquid uh, concealer to clean my eyebrows but I think this was just a bit more clean cleaner and less messier to work with so let's get to the fun part which is the eyeshadow because I love doing eyeshadow let me get my P Louise base out make sure this is the right shade that I'm looking at yep so I'm using the P Louise base which is the rumor number three Let's go ahead and get into this palette so we're going to see what we're gonna work with for today hmm. looking at this shade called BYOB this is one of the shades that I'm looking at right now along with what's it called bow tie this is the other one we're looking at bow tie as well which is the darker shade and then this pink shade here which is called special delivery so that is the colors I'm looking at for this look today go ahead and let's dive into this shade here this BYOB looks like a grayish brownish color man I wish Morphe had a mirror for this palette because it would have been so much easier for me to just hold it and just look at myself in the mirror because it's kind of a bit tough, so. Okay, let's. I like Morphe's palettes. I own like maybe a couple of them. And I mostly like their brushes. Their eyeshadow brushes is just top tier. Because they have a vegan brushes that are like very small, skinny, and very precise. So it makes your eyeshadow application or cutting the crease a bit more easier. And, um... I do, they do have some scratchy brushes that I didn't like that I currently own. But other than that, their other brushes, I don't have all their brushes, but I have like a few of them. Yeah, I think it's a good brand, honestly. I like their palettes. They're very, very diverse when it comes to their brand. And, um, and not only that, they're very affordable too. So, because their palettes, when it comes to their palettes, they are not bad at all when it comes to their palettes. Be like the range of $10 to $30 for a palette, which that is not bad at all, literally. trying to wing it out as much as I can. Give it a little wing. What is your favorite eyeshadow palette from Morphe? I don't have a favorite, but based off what I have, 
because my first I think my first eyeshadow palette that I have when it comes to like Ulta when my first time going to Ulta I think I went to Ulta or maybe I went to their website but I ended up getting this Jeffree Star palette which I still have and that was my first Morphe palette that I ever got and I was very very amused and very impressed when it comes to their quality because the color was pigmented everything was packing on pretty good I was just very very impressed and I'm like I'm definitely gonna be buying some more from Morphe definitely looking forward to buying more from Morphe because they were so affordable and I was liking that. But we're going to go ahead and do the darker shade, which is the bow tide, which is right here. It's like a darker gray. It's like a little, little gray. I don't know. It looks like a brownish. We'll see what it looks like, you know. And I'm going to go with the smaller brush, which is, this is the Morphe brush I was telling you guys about. This is like the vegan um, brush that I was saying. Yeah, I love this brush. Like this is giving you, it definitely gives you that precision when it comes to applying eyeshadow and you'll see what I'm talking about, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and dip that in there. And we going to Go under here. Wow, that was definitely pigmented. Wow. Depending on how this turned out, I might change the shimmer color shade that I was originally was trying to do. We'll see how it goes. can really see my eyeshadow like that but um hold up let me try to change the color real quick let's see yeah this is because in person it looks like a very like plum berry type and I don't know if y'all can see I had to change my lighting because I don't know if you guys can see what I got going on here. I have to clean this part up, so don't mind that. But yeah, so. Hmm. Because that darker shade definitely packed it on pretty well, and I just had to blend that out a bit more because, yeah, we don't want nothing looking too harsh either. Because that is not what we want not over here I kind of wanted to do like a halo effect that's what my original plan is but I think it's still possible I just got to figure out like how to do that or no no I just got to figure out what shade shimmer shade would go in the middle looking at these shades here I'm looking for something that I might do like a lighter shimmer shade so maybe this one called expertise expertise which is this mm, I want to say white but it's like a very creamish color 
and hold on, let me do a swatch yeah so that's what it looks like it looks very pigmented on camera so you can definitely see that shimmer how shimmery that is. I'll give that an A+. Okay. Okay. I see where we're going with this. So I did the rest of my eyes. I put some lashes on and called the day. I'm gonna go ahead and um, put my concealer on now to cover the blemishes, as you can see. I'm still working on my face, you guys. It's it's getting better. It might take a little while, but it definitely requires. Let me get my mirror. It definitely requires patience. I don't know if I told you guys already I did go to a dermatologist and she gave me some prescription and um, some creams and stuff to use consistently and I have seen the difference and it's clearing up a little bit it's getting there it's just gonna take some time
setting powder off. And you're just sweeping it off. Sweep. I'm gonna end up using this brush, not brush, Andrea, get your words right. I'm gonna use my blush palette here. This is my favorite blush here. This one with the swirls in them. I love that blush. This is always my go-to. this highlighting palette this is my favorite as well I use this all the time now we're gonna do our highlighter so I'm gonna use this shade right here this is my favorite and we're gonna highlight everything did what I could I didn't want to go too dramatic last but not least let's set this makeup up okay guys so this is the final look and I like it so this is more like a because I'm staying in the house so this is like a more like a natural chill stay in the house makeup so yeah and oh, let me tuck this in back here so overall I do like this palette I wish they could like incorporate it like traditional Christmas colors so that way like it'll feel well it'll give me like christmas vibes for sure like it was the shades are beautiful but it wasn't christmasy enough if that makes sense. this palette is on sale i did buy this for 14 some dollars it was 17 but then i had my rewards and then i got some few dollars off of it and this was a great deal so i really like that if it's on sale you might as well grab it right and then beforehand they do give you like a little guide that you could follow in case you have no idea what type of eyeshadow look you're looking for and they have four looks and if you look they show you the different type of shades where to apply them to get that look that they're trying to show you and you can always follow through that as well if you'd have no idea what to do with your eyeshadow look so this is very helpful i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys had a lovely thanksgiving and you guys are just having a good old time with your family your friends wherever the wherever you are but yeah you guys have a blessed day and i will see you guys in the next video Bye bye